Hello guys and thanks for coming to my YouTube channel Blender Ustad. In this video we will create a simple chair in Blender 2.81. So let's get started. First of all shift A to add a plane. Then scale it with X and go to edit mode in control R to add some loops. Now delete the half and go to the modifier setting and add a mirror modifier with Y direction. Now select the last one and turn on the proportional editing and try to scale it. Now grab it up and grab it a little back with Y and shift add to add another plane and also uh, add some loops here. Now again go to modifier and add a mirror modifier and then scale it with proportional editing. Now we'll add a loop here and then we'll grab the vertex to make it something like this. Now select the last uh, three vertex and then grab it and then rotate it with R to make it like a curve shape. Also select the center one and grab it a little back to make it more curve. Now select uh, the same here and do the same like rotating it and now scale it a little down with X. Now shift add to add a cylinder. This will be the feet of chair. And then grab it down now. And let's go to the bottom and extrude it one time, then scale it and then extrude it again with Z. Now we'll scale it a little more and then we'll grab it to the X and we'll rotate it. We'll also go to the right side and we'll rotate it from this side. Now we'll press Ctrl A and make it all transform and we'll add a mirror modifier and we'll make it double mirror. And then we'll add a solidify modifier to the both to make some thickness. Now scale it all and then go for a subdivision modifier for both. Now grab this one down and try to align it. Select the pits and grab it down. Now try to make it smooth with right click and make it shade is smooth. Now add an another cube and scale it up and go to the edit mode and again try uh, to add some loops and then select the last vertexes and grab it up with the proportional editing now select the half and delete it and again add a mirror modifier now select this one and match it with the rest of the chair We'll add a loop here and we'll scale it and then again add a subdivision modifier and add some loops to make it smooth. We'll scale it add Z a little, something like this. Now right click to make it smooth. Now go to the shading and control T to add a uh, texture if you are no angular add-in is on so we need to apply a simple wooden floor texture so you can download it from google now we'll select this one and we'll again add the same material but for the last one we'll add a new metallic and rough material so it will look something like this now select this one in Control t and search for the noise texture and connect it to the normal and then add a bump and make it to the height and decrease the height and increase the scale and make it slightly yellow again decrease the strength now add a camera and press ctrl and alt and number 0 to snap the camera and then increase the resolution and then add a simple HDRI you can use anyone and in the EV turn on the bloom ambient occlusion and screen space reflection 
and then simply rotate the HDRI and in the cycle press the render you can also transparent the background for the better results so here is it I hope you like and if you like then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos for now bye